woman acting like a child. It's disgusting. That woman that she's talking about is on the South Moreland School Board, and you can see, we're zooming in right here for you in this video, she's got a bag over her head during this past week's meeting. That woman says that she is taking a stand against having to wear a mask. But as Channel 11's Michelle Newell explained, some parents think that it's sending a very different message. A number of parents I spoke with told me this isn't the first time they've had concerns about the school board member who did this. It's a grown woman acting like a child. It's disgusting. My kids behave better than that. Just kind of embarrassment. Um, to think that this is how our my kids school district is being represented. Shock would be an understatement to describe how parents feel about what they saw at the South Moreland school board meeting Thursday night. She just kept saying that she was complying with my rule. She referred to it as covering her head mouth and nose, which is not the policy. You've read the policy. The policy states that you cover your mouth and your nose. That's the conversation school board president Michelle Williams says she had with Dr. Catherine Fike before the meeting even began. But Dr. Fike chose to wear a brown paper bag over her head the entire time. My two year old can wear a mask. I don't understand why a grown woman who is a leader in the community shouldn't be able to wear a mask. In March, Williams says Dr. Fike showed up to two school board meetings without a mask. Those actions led to an updated mask policy that was recently approved. Security won't allow anyone to enter school buildings without a mask. Williams says Dr. Fike told her a medical condition prevents her from wearing one. The district says several options were offered to Dr. Fike to safely participate in meetings, including setting her up in a room with a laptop. Provided her with a face shield that she could have worn we had face shields that there last night that she could have worn. When you claim that you can't wear a mask because of medical issues, I certainly wouldn't expect you to then put a brown paper bag over your head. Um, I don't think it sends a good message to our students. Um, who see this as well. We tried to contact Dr. Fike. Once we got through to her, Hi, she declined to comment. We've decided that we're pulling our kids from the district as of next year, and it's a shame because our teachers are amazing and have done so much through this pandemic for the kids. Williams says there's nothing the board can do if Dr. Fike continues to come to meetings this way because she is an elected official. I think that we have a good school district, and, and I think we have a lot of people working hard to make it better. Um, it's sad to me that this is what we're in the news for right now. Michelle Newell, Channel 11.